Good morning. I am happy to welcome all of you on this important Women's Day. At GTL, many of you working side by side with your male colleagues have helped, contributed and in many ways built this organization where it is today. No doubt the challenges that we face in today's world are complex and in many cases require separate skills. Some are technological, some are human, some that are not there in any book. And this is where I believe that among other things, women play a very important role. I have always believed that GTA is like a big family. And in that context, from what you know of holding a family together, encouraging the family as well as contributing towards growth of the family is an important value that I think women bring to the table and to GTL as a group. Many women in our company have grown through their hard work, through their perseverance and through their commitment. On my part, I continue to encourage the HR department to try and find ways and means to remunerate, to identify and to promote equal contribution from women as men. In that context, I think that many of you who have been around here for many, many years need to actively participate both with HR as well as the renewed effort we are making in our corporate relationship department to let us know how we can do several things by which we can add value to you in return. On our part, education for those who need it, medical and insurance facilities for families as well as opportunities and career for growth both domestically and internationally are something that I believe you can participate in. The recent amendment to Companies Act also says that it will be necessary to have at least one woman director on board of every listed company. This is an important step in the direction of trying to include women in management, in policy making, in strategic decision making as well as in overall growth of companies. I think we need to sort of get engaged with both HR and management to see how you can participate in, on this major initiative that is that has been encouraged by the government of India. The other aspect of where I think women can really add value is that in an otherwise difficult and complex situation, stability that is brought to any family is an important virtue that we need to practice in business. No doubt there is tremendous pressure for those of you who work. There is pressure and stress of travel, there is pressure and stress of family back home and then there is pressure and stress of financial affairs with things basically becoming so adverse in terms of inflation and costs etc. But as we all grapple to learn to handle ourselves, it is also important that besides the day to day work, you think of how you can contribute and we from a male standpoint also think of how we can contribute to your overall growth. I think there is one more area where you can basically bring a lot of strength to our company. In an otherwise difficult situation in trying to rebuild the very basic of our company, I believe that the knowledge and information that the stability that most of you and women in generally bring could be very critical to our growth and success. Thank you for being here today.